Bruce from Safari and let's have a look at the sea trial on this 50 foot cruiser as it goes from the Gold Coast to Hamilton Island with the two bi-directional motor generators 10 kilowatts capable each. Uh, let's see the results. Before leaving the dock we took the revs up to about a thousand rpm and the two units were producing 14 kilowatts. Uh, you recall in the previous video if we go up to uh, cruising speed it will actually generate 17 kilowatts. Uh, this is a live display off the remote console. This is six hours later. It's been traveling and it's out at sea. You can see the engine room is 58C. You'll see that on the battery temperature. The two generators are generating enough to cover the loads. We've got it set here at 99%. It's got a little bit of buffer in it. Uh, the aircon's running. You can see at the top and the DC loads are running all the fridges and all the other DC loads on the uh, vessel. But let's have a look at the detail on the batteries because it's hot, it's 58C in there and there the batteries are between 36 and 47. So the ones at the top of the rack, there's 45 kilowatt hours in there. And the difference in the cell voltage at the top there is only eight millivolts. It's just incredible for this temperature and performance. Uh, these solid state batteries are just amazing. Let's look at the ramp up rate. Now the unit's capable of 17 kilowatts, but if the ambient temperature you can see here is 47, 48 in the engine room, we slow that down a bit. It still goes 77% to 99% in two hours and that's a 46 kilowatt hour bank so it's putting in a significant amount of power there but let's go down and have a look at the cell voltages which uh, gives you an idea at that temperature how fast the lithium is absorbing the energy and uh, you can see here at the bottom of the cycles here the charge when it's off it's about two millivolts and at the top it's about seven or eight millivolts so the combination of the battery here with the bmg is just a perfect combination for fast charging. This next chart is uh, 24 hours later, so it's been running for quite a while now. And what we're looking at here is the cycling of the BMG to match the charge current limit. So you can see there we've got charge current limit. When it goes up, it comes on. When the charge current limit uh, coming out of the batteries goes low, it turns off. And uh, that cycle, look at that, it's just like textbook perfect, up, down off and of course when it's off it's cooling um, and the difference in the cell voltages again i think we've got uh, the high there is uh, something like one millivolt in that particular case so these batteries are nice and balanced everything's running smoothly and that power is just pouring in and it's turning on and off and that gives you maximum efficiency just to recap on the technology here, the BMG is full of rare earth magnets in there. It runs at 90% uh, efficiency. It's got an inverter on the back at 94, so the net's 85. A traditional alternator is 60. When it's hot, it's less than 50. And the BMGs are driven by Scotty AI here. There's a master slave here that's quite complex to do. So we've got two of them, one either engine. There's a 300 kilo weight saving here if you put uh, these on either engine and do a gen set at half the size. Uh, this is particularly valuable if you've got a catamaran. Uh, you can really squeeze a really small gen set on there. How good's that?